Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the 10 times 10 podcast. I am your host, YK the Mayor. Today, this is episode 13. And first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to some of the sponsors. Um, my first sponsor is Native by Nature. If you guys want to get some clothing by Native by Nature, hit them up. I will put their information in the description. I'm going to show you some shit right here. This is t shirts. You can get sweaters, whatever you need. No cap. We got it, we got it, we got it, baby. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Say what? Y'all see it? Native by nature. Native by nature. Check the description. Also, our second sponsor is Central Designs. If you want to get your hair braided, you want to get your hair locked up. If you a shorty, you want to get the weave or whatever, you want to get your hair braided right, hit up Central Designs. I will have their info in the description. Also, so without further ado, I have a special guest with me right here, man. No cap. Um, Keep it 10 times this 10, man baby. right here is a major league spitter. Big beans, you know what I'm saying? A fucking Winnipeg veteran, dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yes, Mr. Illa Music, a.k.a. Z Killer, a.k.a. Hey. Spits Better Than Your Favorite Rapper, hey. a.k.a. Hey. I could go all motherfucking day, man. God damn. Zeke, hey, Illa Music, what up, my G? What's poppin'? How you feeling today, I'm brother? Good, bro. I'm good. How you, you living? Good? How you I'm living? good, man. You know, I'm just yes, doing sir. this podcast hey, life, man. you know? It's going up, too, bro. It's, it's going, going up. It's going. We try to get it popping, man. Straight up, bro. Just stay creative. Always, bro. Always, Always bro. Always. Always. Yes, sir. What is, what's the saying there? Um, invest, manifest, bless. Hey, bro. You, you I know? Got, that's a lot to live up to, that, that intro know? right there, bro. Like, telling you. That's facts. Man, we, we came a long way, fam. Yeah, bro. You came a long way. And, like, we knew each other for a long time, bro. Like, we, time, we, bro. we go back, bro. So, a like, long time. We was we was here in the beginning. Kids, bro. Since you know? kids, you know what I mean? Since youths, dog. Mm-hmm. We was in the glory days of Winnipeg rap, man. You know, we was tearing shit up hey, back man, in the day. Like That's we, what these youngins don't know. Don't know. Like, we, we started up. When that gutter sound just gutter. came to the city, you know, what gutter, I mean? like, bro. It was on some backpack. Yeah, the city was straight backpack. You know for what so I long. mean? Before that, some reggae things and yeah. no disrespect. It was all, it was all good. Yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah. then that that gully sound mm-hmm. came and it was like, yo, the hoods were putting on, bro. Yeah. The hoods were putting on that real street music. That you real know? street music. Yeah, yeah, man. So, man, I just want to, I got some questions for you today, man. You know, I want, for the people that don't know, I want them to kind of get to know you. Yes, uh, you know, you, like I said, you've been around for a long time, but no you know, cat. you might want to introduce yourself to some new people. So, yes, like, sir. So, who is, who is Illa Music, dog? Illa Music was formerly known as Z Killa or Z Killa in the, in the heat bag days when mm-hmm. I was, when I was running around like a, yeah. like a mad child, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was just running around crazy man like i'm sure a lot of these kids know what's up yeah, out here you know sure. what i mean and, yeah you know we ain't glorify none of that but nah. we was just a product of our environment you know what i mean facts like, facts and you know i was just out there killing everything killing beats killing killing the hustle killing mm-hmm. just killing what i had to do and no cap. you know illa music came about after uh you know, I took a little hiatus. Yeah. Had to get my mind right. Yeah. This, this happened around uh, 2014, 2015 ish. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. You went on a little vacation. A little vacay, you know what I mean? Like, things were going crazy. I had to get my mind right. Some things took a lot of L's, man. Took a lot of L's and just had to step back and refocus. Yeah. And realize what's really real. Who's who? You know what yeah. I mean. A lot of backstabbing went yeah, on. Bro. A lot of fucking yeah. craziness went on, bro. So yeah. I was like, yo, before I do something like stupid or yeah. I'll regret, I just yeah. gotta step back and just really, you know, figure out a Get lot your of mind things. Right. You know, and and a lot of people say, oh, Zeke, he he turned to religion, this mm-hmm. and that. I went through my little yeah. my little spiritual, yeah, yeah, my uh, you know, seeking and all yeah, that. Yeah. And, and then I, I just, I got a vision, like, you know, I I got a purpose. I know I got a purpose out yeah. here. I just got to figure what that yeah. is. And yeah. I know it has something to do with music. Like, Facts. Like, it's in our blood. Like, yeah. we were born for this shit. You yeah. know what I mean? So I, I just had to figure out exactly what I'm going to do again, how yeah. I'm going to re-enter 
the game again yeah, yeah. and i had to rebrand kind of reinvent yourself yeah exactly right? yeah, i had to rebrand up and reinvent myself so yeah. i dropped the zeke and i just went it was music and for sure it was just like that was a rap let's just go you yeah. know what i mean and, yeah. and i could back. and i could <clears throat> i could relate to that so much exactly. because you know me i did exactly, exactly the same thing it's exactly. like i used to be a young kid but it was like i had to put that in the past mm-hmm. but i kept my name yk because that's still a part of me right exactly. so still yk was the young kid but exactly. i changed the name completely exactly. because no cap we and ain't you know, the same man you know you want to prog- you want to progress so who is anybody to say anything when you're doing what you want to do with your exactly. life right you know you're gonna have those people who are what are you doing man i just want the old you back yeah why did you change it's like no life's about growth exactly if you're not growing yeah you're just sitting yeah. stuck you know? and like where, where for them to say that like where are you when i'm going through the shit exactly when I'm the old me you know exactly what I mean? exactly yeah and they don't know the struggles they don't they weren't there walking with you in your shoes and, nah, and for bro. you to make those decisions and, and, yeah. and all that you know what i mean yeah they wasn't what you shooting in the gym bro it wasn't what you shooting in the gym and and now we we jumping out the gym yeah so jumping like, you know what i mean so Tell yeah them. Yeah, man, it's it's life, bro. I love it though. I love the journey. You know yeah, what I mean? For like, sure. Like looking back, I, you know, you could regret a lot of things, but I don't regret nothing now that yeah, I look at it because it's yeah, like yeah. that's who I was. That's what made me. Yeah. And you know, it's the journey that I'm loving now. I learn how to learn yeah. to like the journey more than the destination per se. Because yes. a lot a lot of us get caught up in. You know, we want to blow up. We want to oh, be yeah. superstars for and this sure. and that. You know what I mean? We, for sure. We, we done knew that from, from yeah. time, though. We had it. But yeah. it's like, I was so focused on on the destination. Yeah. Like, I want, I want, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know exactly yeah, what I'm talking sure. about. Yeah. But it's like, you really got to just focus on the step-by-step plays yeah. and, and yeah. just focus on the journey. And then before you know it, you look up and you, you're receiving all these blessings yes, and, and all yes. these you're reaping reaping yeah. what you put in you know mm-hmm. what i mean and yeah. it's like you just gotta keep your head down keep keep working and you look up and boom you, yeah. you know what i mean so that's, that's what i'm learning more to do now and just stop focusing on the on like not the little things per se but when i drop a song mm-hmm. i won't focus too much on like how much that song could go up yeah. sure i'll promote it yeah but i'll always be focused on like okay what's next yeah you know i mean what's yeah. next now you know what I mean? and, that, and a lot of people get lost in that where they release a song and it kind of they kind of get down on themselves if it doesn't do, do what numbers, they expect right? it to yeah, do exactly. right when it's yeah. like some of the biggest artists in the world weren't popping right from the beginning exactly. right so it's like you got to stay consistent and you just got to keep putting out music putting and out something's music. gonna hit yeah you know what i mean you know and it might not be the one you expect like that's that's the usually how it goes too yeah like the more i hear like be successful artists they'll, yeah. they'll just make music out of their comfort zone yeah. sometimes you know yeah. what i mean and that's the one that'll usually like they may not be feeling it but other people be like yo that goes up you know what i mean exactly, so it's like you just bro. gotta you just gotta stay <laughs> stay going and consistent and and out of your comfort zone don't yeah. get too comfortable in in a certain yeah. you know what i mean so yeah, say yeah. so um i kind of want to go to like the beginning of like even your childhood or the beginning of music for you like when was that piv- pivotal moment when you realized like I want to do this I want to make music it was like I'd have to say when I was 12, 12 like around around the age of 11 12 I was living in in Toronto at the time in Scarborough and you know we had a radio station like we were right across the lake from buffalo new york yeah yeah for sure so we we were getting all that that new york east coast Keep it ten times ten, flavor baby. that new stuff that you wouldn't necessarily hear on canadian radio stations at the time yeah. Yeah. so i was like yo like this this music is just it's something else like yeah. the beats the, yeah. the wordplay the lyrics you just it's a, it's such a beautiful art form, yeah, bro. Like, as soon true. as you hear it, and, yeah. and many artists will say this, but as soon as you hear hip hop, you fall in love. Oh, <laughs> like you dog. really fall Facts. in love, dog. It's like, yo, Tell what em. is this this form of of music? You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as soon as I heard it, bro, I fell in love, and I was like, I started mimicking shit. Started, yeah, like, you know, rapping, rapping in the mirror yeah, to other, you know like, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. then 
you know, ten, ten, Nana ten, bought ten, me baby. a little a little tape deck recorder. Yeah. And it was over after that, bro. Yeah. As soon as I heard my voice For recorded, sure, my yeah. G, like, it was <laughs> over after that. It's like, okay. No looking back no after looking that. Back, like. No looking back, bro. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's when I could See, really I say that's when I fell in love yeah. with hip-hop. Okay, so yeah, yeah, young ten, days, ten, that's ten. really how it goes, right? And yeah, it's like, what, like, how old were you when you started, like, making your own music, though? Yeah, I'll hit that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You started old? making, like, my your own music? songs and your own music. This was probably in high school like in high school i just got over like the insecurities and and all that of of being able to spit around other people yeah, that's yeah. bad and put yourself out there like yeah, that exactly right? exactly so it's like okay now now i could try it out they're having little battles at school in the cafeteria yeah, yeah. St. John. shout out shout out neil the first one i ever battled Salem. you know what i mean but uh it was like just just what you that shit you see in movies you yeah, know what i yeah. mean like niggas battling and that's when i could first say like i started spitting in public and then it was about a year after that maybe in that year yeah that i linked up with some homies from the school who had a, a little computer and a little just a little last mic it yeah. wasn't even a recording mic yeah, it was yeah. one of those little mics you speak into for like work or something <laughs> on the shit, old dog. school yeah. like the old school computers yeah and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly so, i start i start i just doing yeah, that shit to it yeah LJ you back know what i mean yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly you know exactly what i'm talking <laughs> about so it's like we were just ripping beats off um sound click it was yeah. called at the time yeah yeah sound i remember click. sound click yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that was that yeah that was i haven't way, been on bro. that site in a long in a time long time dog, bro. Bro. and i know they're still bumping i know they still got bangers on there bro i might have to go check some yeah for real dog but yeah, we were just ripping beats off there and, and just wilding out on some mixed craft shit yeah. or whatever I think it was called. And, uh, ten gosh, ten. And bro was just doing his little mixing thing and, and they sounded hella rough. Word, man, like, bro. Hella rough. But, but back then you don't but, know yeah, what you know what quality, I mean? like you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But we were just, just gradually dropping them upgrading. anyway, you know, dropping oh, them yeah, anyway. Just putting it out, man. Putting them out. The hood was yeah. loving it. Like, oh, the hood yeah. was eating it up. So, mm -hmm. right off the hop, I was like, okay, like, we got I could do here. this. You know what I mean? I, I could, could do, do this. this. I could really see myself doing yeah. this. So And it's always, you always get that first love in your hood, right? Yeah, and exactly. that which gives you that, that uh, gratification exactly. that you could actually do it, right? Exactly, bro. Yeah. 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 So, like, moving, like, moving a little bit forward in, like, your career, like, how did it come about you, like, linking up with, like, Heat Bag Records and shit like that? Okay, so, um, the dudes I was actually recording with, shout out Josh Hooligan, um, his family is actually family with John C. Mm. So, when I was making music with him, you know, I, I would see these guys the older cats yeah got moving you. around and, and doing their thing yeah say what and then that's when i was like yo like i want to do this more yeah because yeah. that was motivation too you know yeah what I mean? for sure so <clears throat> we were we were just kicking it john c would be in and out the spots and mm -hmm. then i started meeting more of them and then i figured out T -t 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 One of my cousins, ten. Ashley Black, was rolling yeah. with them too. Oh, shout out Niggs, yeah, eh? Shout out Niggs. Shout out Niggs, yeah. So when Niggs uh, scooped me up and it was like game over after that, they were just like, okay, hey, this boy's a spitter. Yeah. I was rolling with uh, this click called ABC, mm -hmm. ABC Records before that, Always Blazing, uh, Always Always Blazing, Blazing Chronic. Chronic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know you that. Know, yeah. yeah. And, and who was that? Who was all in that crew? Keep that ten, was ten, Josh. Ten, baby. Just, just a little. Uh, hood boys man okay. and his brother Chucky yeah. uh, and then Ray and then my homie Trevor yeah. homie Trey do you like still talk to those guys I, I still talk to Trey yeah. I still talk to Josh here and there uh, I don't know what Ray's been up to are they still like doing it like are they no, still no, see no, no, that's no. so crazy cause you yeah. started out with like a group mm -hmm. and I started out with a group and it's mm -hmm. like I'm the only one still kicking it, right? still black, fucking black pushing, house, you know? man. And that's you know what I mean? when I first heard of you too. Yeah. And those were in those days. That's what yeah. actually motivated me to like to, to start rapping yeah. too. That's crazy. Because I seen young niggas out here getting it. You yeah, know what I mean? And sure. I was like, yo, I'm from the north side. These boys yeah. are from the west and yeah. central. You know yeah. what I mean? But you know, it don't mean things. Like no. I could still, I could still do this yeah, too. Yeah, for man. sure, man. And then I remember you coming through one of my house parties. I don't know if oh, you the remember. Oh, the St. John's, and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so when YK a, came <laughs> through the house party, bro, it, I knew I had shit litty, my <laughs> yeah. nigga. I knew it was like shit was going down, bro. Yeah. So I was like, that's 
that's crazy. And it was just quick. You just popped in and out. You yeah. know what I mean? Looked around yeah, and shit. Yeah, gave yeah. me love. And it was like, yeah. all right, my nigga. Yeah. yeah that's it's dope. your boy, so my I, I knew I had to be doing something right. You know yeah, what I mean? So sure. I just kept Sell the momentum them. going out. For that, sure, bro. You know I mean? For sure, dog. Hold yeah. up. Hold up. Hold up. So, um, <clears throat> so you linked up with Heatbag. So, like, what was it like coming up? coming up with like i guess like the winnipeg's most guys and kind of being around them when they were creating and stuff i know you were around a lot of the times back then right yeah like it was just dope like it was a dope environment you know bros had the spots yeah we were just always chilling you know just beats were going off all the time it was just that dope environment like any artist would want to be around yeah it's all just creativity just flowing right creativity flowing you know what i mean and we were just trying to make it out, you know what I mean? We were just trying to make it out the streets, trying to make it out. For sure. Trying to make a name, you know what I yeah. mean? And, and, and make something of ourselves. And, yeah. And that's what the real ambition was. And, mm-hmm. and to get the feedback, you know, you, you could be doing this and niggas been doing this for years and years yeah, and facts. years. But if you don't get that, that love back, like it's... I understand why a lot of people quit. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's a long fucking grind. It's a long you know? grind, bro. Like years. And and it's like I see a lot of these cat a lot of these young niggas now, they're getting a lot of love, like yeah. much love to them and all yeah. that. But it's like when we started it was like that too. We yeah. just didn't have the internet yeah. and shit like yeah, they got man. now, like, you know it, what I they mean? They have like, so much shit. Uh just at their fingertips at on their your cell phone it wasn't right? like that bro. it wasn't like that so we were actually out pushing like 10,000 albums yeah, and, like and 5,000 albums yeah, and, out the trunk and, and out the trunk you know yeah. what I mean so you could you could count those up your streams too yeah. they still getting runs right now oh, you know what sure, I mean so bro. it's like yeah. we had it harder but yeah. it's like we appreciated it a, we appreciate a, a lot it, yeah. more you know what I mean and, that's bad and I kind of said this last time is like yeah, these young guys, they're doing their thing and hats off to them, but yeah. it's a lot of the OGs in the game who set the groundwork for these for guys, these you guys. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. like they got to respect that also, right? Exactly. So, it's like, so where where would the hip hop scene even be if it exactly. wasn't for the OGs? Right? It wouldn't be like it wouldn't be a uh, a real music, real street shit scene if it wasn't for the guys these, before exactly these guys it used exactly. to be straight back winnipeg was straight, straight backpack, backpack rap bro and and that's cool like john smith all those guys all them like, shout out to all those I mean? ogs john exactly. smith exactly like uh, mood DK, rough all the things mood yeah. rough, all yeah, those all guys them, yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. they were doing it yeah but it just wasn't on a level like <clears throat> where the where the attention of the streets was on yeah it, exactly, I mean? so, exactly no cap and now it's just like it's waving up so i yeah. I'm, I'm loving it though. I like much love to all these young cats and and everybody out here doing it because it's like the more the merrier. You know exactly, what I mean? Like it's bro. one when one wins, we all win. That's how I look at it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So facts. Yeah. Listen to my dog, man. He hey, dropped man. the jewels on you, hey, boy. All right, my dog. So like, kind of um, going forward, like after the heat bag record situation. Mm-hmm. Like, what was the def- defining moment for you when you made the decision, like, I want to branch off and I want to start my own shit? Like, the, I think I was locked up around the time that I that might have happened. I think you were, too, around 2012, 13. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, gone 13. Yeah, you were locked yeah. up. 10 times 10, and baby. Yeah, it was just things were going not exactly according to plan with the with the team. and Yeah. And you know what I mean? Everyone wanted to to just bang bang out you know what i mean Mm, blow up for sure you know what i mean so a lot of things got in the way of that but it is what it is you know what i mean no no hate no disrespect to anybody because i'm sure if it was meant to be it would have been it would have been yeah exactly and i'm big on that too yeah so when i figured like things weren't going as i necessarily wanted to with my music and i wasn't getting my music out as i wanted yeah I, I just figured like it was it was time to to branch out and yeah and make my own decisions and be in control of my own music and and stuff like that yeah. you know what i mean yeah um so you kind of had your own plan for what you wanted to do right not really it was kind of like the universe just like everything was was flowing you know yeah. what i mean it was like one chapter was closing and, and another and one was, another, another was, door was opening and another door was opening yeah. you know what I mean it's yeah. like one of my homies came to me and um 
one of my bros at the time. Keep it ten times uh, ten, like, baby. Yo, I see what you're doing out here. Like, I want, I want to help out. I wanna, I wanna back you a little bit. You know yeah, what I mean? So I was like, okay, well, I don't, I don't got really nothing going on over here. Yeah, I'm not trying to be in the streets like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if I got like a, a silent investor type of thing, yeah, why yeah. not? Why yeah. not take yeah. the risk? You know what I mean? So for sure, bro. We 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 started a little thing called Ill Fam. Mm. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Built a little studio. It was it was straight back to the drawing board, you know, yeah, what I mean? yeah. back to the basement. Yeah. And I was like, OK, but now Building it from my, the ground up. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. But now it was my own thing. So I kind of knew the ins and outs of the game a little more. Yeah. Where I could school these these young younger guys that I was bringing into the game as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a couple of my cousins we signed and then um, my bro Epic and then there was Sade. So we had like four artists on there plus myself so five artists on there and you know it was so versatile bro like we had a singer um a reggae artist you know what i mean oh nice plus myself so it was like it was i i seen such a big vision with it yeah that it was like go time but you know things went south with that as well like about a year maybe a year and a half into that you know, a lot of things got into the in in the way of that as well. Mm. A lot of egos, yeah. and, and, you know, niggas wanted to be in the. Everybody in wants the, to be the man. Everybody right? wants to be the man, yeah. but nobody wants to do the man's work. Yes, you know exactly. I mean? exactly. And a lot of niggas wanted to be in the trenches still, and, mm. and all that. And yeah. I was like, bro, like we're trying to make music. Yeah. It's either we're making music. Mm. Or we're going full time in the fucking trenches, <laughs> bro. Like, you know what I mean? We're not doing yeah. both out here. You can't have 50 50 that shit. You can't 50 50 it because it's like you're jeopardizing too much. Like, too a lot of much. niggas do, yeah. and, and and hats off to them if you could get around that. But it's like yeah. when you got an eye on you yeah. and you're trying to be in the front lines and, yeah. and be on the front yeah. pages and all yeah. that stuff, you know what I mean? You can't be out here. In back lanes, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yo, like, man, I seen this guy, yo, like, serving this person right, out here, like, right? Yeah, you man, just can't be, me. can't be like that. Like, nah, you could bro. have your little, little team, yeah, whatever, you yeah, know what I mean. But yeah. I'm not condoning none of that, you know what I mean. Mm. So it's just like, but at the time, it was what it was. Like, bro, had it, we had investors, and yeah, like, we were just willing to get it. But yeah, you know, I think the higher powers that be, you know. <clears throat> think like the creator you just he didn't allow that because it was going it was going south real fast so mm-hmm. i got out of that situation and that's when i took my my hiatus oh, my, okay. my, like my little break or whatever how long was that break would you say that you took that was like from 14 to 17 so that's about like god damn years. bro yeah, you bro. took a three yeah i took a three off bro, but it was damn. like see i was of, gone all that time so i did i didn't know yeah right, so. right but it was like i was locked in the box with you, you yeah, know what I mean? yeah you were in a box i was yeah. i was trapped in my apartment going crazy yeah you know yeah I mean? like, I fuck, I like sleeping that. on mama's floor and yeah just going crazy yeah, you know what yeah. i mean but that's when i was like hit rock bottom in yeah. a sense i tried getting legit jobs and mm-hmm. going jo- after job after job ended up breaking my hand Shit. in the process at work Shit, busted out my finger i was out of the game for like three more months after God that damn. so it was like yeah. i was really going through some yeah. some tough yeah. s- situations but that's facts. that's what showed me a lot so yeah. and it's hard bro like, like it's, it's hard it's hard to make that transition from what you're used to like for us it was we were used to fast money we were exactly. used to the street exactly. so to do that transition to like being 100 percent legit a and seeing what a, a legit paycheck is and right. then, like you know it's hard bro. and a lot of people don't understand that people go oh just get a job no 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 you know what nah. i mean it's like bro i'm trying yeah. out here you know what i and mean and that's and the thing too like, we have a record so it's exactly. like we can't get a good job exactly bro, right? unless we're getting hooked up by a homie yeah. or, or this mm-hmm. and that like we can't just go out there and get a job yeah. you know what i mean yeah. you have to have yeah. a, a connection or something no like that. So when i was going through that it was like mental health was really on like on my on my plate at the time because mm-hmm. and that's what a lot of people don't shed light on mm-hmm. in this game mm-hmm. even as a rapper you know yeah. what i mean from the streets and all that yeah. like we're supposed to be 
We deal with a lot of shit, man. We deal with a lot of shit, and we're just supposed to tuck it under the rug. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, we gotta, we gotta somehow deal with that. You know what I mean? So, when I was going through that, yeah, three years, bro, and and then I was finally, I went through some some tough relationships with some women, this and that. And then finally, I just said enough, yo. Like, Mm -hmm. I, I remember just watching youtube going through the new videos that were coming yeah. out the new music that was dropping and shit yeah. like that and i was just like yo like i remember my purpose again yeah. you know what i Go. mean i was yeah. like that's that's me you know yeah, what i mean like sure. i gotta get up and get it get up know? and so, do this music and then i just remember like telling this girl like i'm gone i'm, I'm gonna go off because she, <clears> cause she was like she was messing with me bro yeah. like messing with my mind Say and all that. that and i was like i'm, I'm gone i gotta go blow up I gotta go. Blow you up, know, you know yeah, I mean? like yeah, you know how these. It's hard it, these days to find a solid mm-hmm. shorty, man. shorty, bro. Like, and like, it's hard, bro. That's it's facts. hard out here, yo. Yeah, trust. So when us. you find it, it's like lock it down, lock, that, lock it down, yeah. and like I'm still on the hunt, but I'll yeah. find her soon. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, it's like <clears throat> as men. Especially us for what we went through, we gotta work on ourselves first, exactly before anything. Exactly, and that's what I'm realizing too, because a lot of these women want to jump into relationships with niggas who aren't even yeah. right in the head yet. Exactly, like, you know what I mean. And then they wonder why they get fucked over. Right? You know what I mean, exactly. So it's like, let me just get my mind right. Let me get on that full wave, and then I'll be good. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back. And I see you, man. I see you right now. You're thank working, you, bro. bro. And, I, thank you, bro. and I'm happy for you, bro, because, like, thank you. I want to see you win, bro. Thank like, you, bro. It's because I know you for so long and I know what you're capable of, bro. Thank you, dog. I want, I want to see world you. To me cause I want to see you win, You're bro. one of my main motivators and a lot of people. They knew that, but it's like, Say to what? give you your flowers now is, yeah. is, is like, a main thing. Oh, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's real, my nigga. That's real. Recognize real, you know? Straight up, my G. <clears throat> so, I got, I got this question for you, man. I want to I wanna name five artists mm-hmm. and i want to know i want to know what you rate them ten, out of five ten, right okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> okay so first artist i got here jay-z out of five the rating? out of five yeah jay-z i give him a five bro like give him a five yeah i have to just his hustle is impeccable yeah bro. like yeah his hustle is impeccable his bars are, are yeah up there and too, people you know people I mean? say he's like, the goal right so people it's like say he's the goal yeah. so it's like you gotta give Jay the five. Yeah, you know? Jay's the five. Yeah. Uh, what about Weezy? Lil Wayne. Five. Bro. Five, eh? Five. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Weezy's I mean, also the goat, though. Weezy's also the goat, and I came up off Weezy yeah. more than Jay. So I did like, too. I ain't go front. Yeah, I did so too. I, like, I don't know what he's up to these days. He's yeah, acting like a madman. And yeah, he's. You know, a, I don't. Like, I don't know what up with Weezy either, man. But, but each man has their own opinion. Yeah, you know? yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, so we got five out of five for Jay, five out of five for Weezy. What about Bone Thugs? Bone Thugs. Bone Thugs and Harmony. I give him a four. Give him a four out of five. Yeah, just yeah. cause like. Keep it ten times ten, baby. I don't know. They could still be rocking right yeah. now. Yeah, right? but they're not. They're, right, they're so. vets. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. And I used to get high to their shit yeah, all the yeah, time. Like, sure, I think yeah. that's the reason yeah. I started smoking. Yeah. Actually, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's bad. Bone yeah. Thugs and all that. I mean, I. I Bro, I love Bone Thugs. So right. I, I was like highly influenced off of Bone Thugs when coming up. So, no but just because they're not active yeah, yeah, still, yeah. I mean, some of them are, but they're not like. But they're not in the game. In, in the, the game, game in like the game they, like they, they could be, right? Yeah. So okay, so four to five for Bone Thugs. What about Nipsey Hustle? Oh it's God. obviously a five, five right? Yeah, you know I mean, five. five out of five for Nip, man. Yeah. Okay, what about the baby? The baby. Uh, I give him a three. You give the baby a three out of yeah, five. Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. I, mean, I want to know why. I, I Tell prob- me why. I'll probably catch a lot of slack. <laughs> on that one, but I'm curious honestly, why. I fuck with his flow. Like yeah. I fuck with his his hustle, his grind, his mentality, all that. You know what I mean? But I just can't get into necessarily his songs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so. so three out of five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Out of five. I respect yeah. it, man. I respect it. Yeah. Yeah, I so, put yeah. Mozzie over over. Oh, over for sure, baby, yo, Mozzie's my so, nigga right now, bro. Real, if real. I could get a verse from anybody right now, bro, I'd be Mozzie. I ain't even gonna front, yo. Word, word. Yeah. Okay, so uh, when do you feel you're most creative, like in your zone? Like, what sparks the creativity for you? Um, ten times ten. Other than the Kush, <laughs> it's always the Kush. But I mean, <laughs> that's facts. <laughs> Just. Just the hunger, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just the ambition right now is, yeah. is, is what really... Because I could be looking... I could be any time of day, anything, and I could just think of think of 
like ideas or yeah. songs or yeah. bars or something like yeah. that and I'll have to jot them For down sure. or whatever you know what I mean yeah. so it's just life. life life is really really what what helps me create what sparks right your motivation yeah. and yeah. all that yeah. so like do you have a place where like a lot of rhymes come to you keep it 10 times ten, like say baby. like for example me like when I'm sitting on a toilet taking a shit or <laughs> so when a lot of my bars come to me I ain't yeah. gonna front yeah. yeah do you have like a place like that um yeah I mean just at home like after after I get home and I'm just chilling yeah in the garage yeah you know I'll just I'll just start putting on beats and just oh so that's like your spot yeah. like the garage spot it's your boy yeah. that's dope bro I like that uh, a few moments later all right brother so um i kind of want to get into your music a little bit man yeah um i want to talk about your albums um me personally i i think that everything that you put out is fire straight up respect brother. and i'm not even respect. just trying to blow your horn i'm just i fuck with your shit on it like um the mission blood sweat and tears the mission 3.0 lost files um What's like your creative process going into creating an album? Well, to get this out, like the mission, I just wanted material out. Like yeah. I was, I was like, no, I had nothing out, nothing new. Yeah. So I just kind of wanted to like not <clears throat> rush in a sense, but I just needed new shit out. Yeah. So you say not like, rush? Yeah. Yeah, 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 for I, sure. So I recorded that real quick the mission uh blood sweat and tears and we just dropped it yeah and what year was that like 2018 yeah 2018 yeah. uh summertime and then uh after that is like okay another one like i need yeah. more i need more you yeah know what i mean then the second one came out and that one was kind of more deep it wasn't as long but that was more personal <coughs> the 3.0 mission uh, no dark hours oh dark hours yeah, yeah. that one has like a lot of more personal records okay on it. yeah um so i would i didn't really want to promote that too much but yeah it was for like the time you know what i mean mm -hmm. i just wanted to get that out and move on to the next yeah and that was 3.0 yeah and that one we were sitting on for a little bit though like we were sat on it for almost for a year yeah before we dropped it okay so, yeah and then lost files that was me and LJ. Mm -hmm. Me and LJ. Were shout out LJ Montana, shout out LJ man. Montana like, he's like a he's like a crazy slept on producer. I feel. But you know what I mean. He <laughs> sleeps on himself sometimes. Yeah. Ain't no, he ain't, he ain't lying, and I bro. tell him that too. He ain't lying, so, you bro. Know what Straight I mean? like that's that. That's my brother. That's so facts. I'm like, bro, you you know you got to wake up on yeah, yourself man. too. You know what I mean? So if you listen, my nigga, get on your straight shit. Up, straight up. So he like, stays sending me beats though. Oh, like, he stays sending me beats. But to I'm saying like to get out there, I want him. I want to see other artists yeah, rocking his yeah. beats, like other big names yeah. rocking his beats. Yeah. You know what I mean? I so feel it's like, you, man. Because he's a monster in there, bro. Yeah. Like when we locked in, I mean, like even at the Main Street spot, we used to lock oh, in. Oh, for too, sure, you know bro. I mean? Yeah. He was making beats off, yeah. like, off of anything. Like yeah. we, were, we were just playing around one time. He picked up a Hennessy bottle and <laughs> tapping it on the mic, bro. He sliding something up and down the piano. Yeah. Not even playing the piano, just That's sliding crazy. up and down and, and recording these sounds. And yeah. he's making beats off of these things. So I'm like, damn, bro, you way too talented. Yeah. So Lost Files was like mainly me and him, mm. but we recorded it at uh, a homie's house and bro lost all them joints. Oh. He went to go back his computer uh, up or something like how that. How painful is that, he yo? He lost all those joints, bro. I was hard working uh, Because it was like, we were clicking. Oh, like, me man. and LJ were clicking. And, and like, it was on some high quality music. It was yeah. on some high content, high quality music. Yeah. So I was like, when I lost it, I was like, damn. That shit hurts, though, right? Hurt, it does something to you it, when it that was happens. Like, it was like you lost a best friend or something. You know, for real, mean, bro. Like, for like for you real. lost a homie or something. You gotta get a rest in peace like, tattoo right? for the lost <laughs> files. You know what I mean? Because it was like, <laughs> bro, like, on those could have been the ones. You know what yeah, I mean? You, you never, never know. know. But yeah, it's you like, never know, man. But I, we salvaged what we could. Yeah. And, you know, the reference joints that we would send. And we yeah. didn't have the we didn't have the file, so we just yeah. had the reference. Oh and it's shit! Like, okay, we'll just drop the references. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know what I mean, so you should have just called it the reference. Right, the reference, reference album. Yeah, you know? that, that's a sick name. Actually, <laughs> that's a dope name. 
but yeah and so then, yeah like what's your creative process like going into an album like like um do you kind of already have an idea of how it's gonna mesh like see what the concepts sometimes are gonna i'll be? write the whole shit out bro sometimes i'll map the whole thing out from top to bottom wow. like i'll name every track i'll name the album but then you know the journey things change so but that's yeah. that's usually how I do it. Like I'll I'll map it out wow. from top to bottom. But yeah, for things sure. will get changed as we go. Wow, yeah, I feel that. I feel yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, I like doing that though because yeah. it, it gives me like, okay, I gotta get it done. I, yeah. I put it out there now. So yeah. I gotta get it done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And and I, and sometimes I'm kind of like that too. Like I'll I'll kind of come up with the concept first, and mm. then I'll kind of just build around that. Yeah. But it never for me it never goes according to plan. Right. Never go according to plan. <laughs> Never, but bro. you could. Oh, but that's you. The seed comes. It sparks. You yeah. know what I mean. And yeah. You just keep going with it. So. Yeah. So, like, speaking of like the music industry, I kind of want to know your thoughts on the music industry locally and like mainstream wise. Yeah. <laughs> What's your thoughts on like the Winnipeg local scene right now? Right now, I'm 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 digging it so much, bro. Like I'm loving it. You are feeling it? I'm feeling it because it's like. <clears throat> we've had we haven't had it this boiling yeah. up before you know what i mean like there's yeah. so many rappers out right now in winnipeg that i don't yeah. even like every day I'll, I'll figure out and i'll see a new rapper or something coming up you know what i mean trying to do his thing so i'm like okay yeah. that's that's dope because it's like that's facts one man just pushes the next yeah for sure you know what i mean and and it's just like you never know who's gonna blow up to that point where it's like it sheds light to everybody else. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. So the fact that everyone's uniting now too is I'm digging that a lot. I like that too, and I feel like that's what it takes for a city to to kind of really yeah to flourish. You know what I mean? Because do could, things. We could. I mean, this has been an example in the game a lot. Atlanta mm -hmm. has been a heavy example on yeah. just, they all unity, unity yeah. and and it, they're all eating. There's so much to go yeah. around that they're mm -hmm. all eating, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's yeah. not like one man's is hating on the next. Yeah. He's just, he's in his own lane. He's yeah. focused on his own hustle, Word. you know what I mean? So, Word. Yeah, bro. I, I feel like Winnipeg is at that, coming to that point. Yeah. You still got your, your people who, who are clicked up in this and that, but mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like a lot of people are, are pushing each other's stuff a lot of people are, are actually fucking with each other yeah. right now so I'm, I'm really liking it yeah. yeah and over the years just me seeing it now i see it more like people kind of promoting each other and mm -hmm. shit mm -hmm. more now than ever mm -hmm. but you still have those people who are you know what i mean who are just hate what ass I'm niggas like, and just those... don't want to see another man win right exactly and they got just crabs in a bucket crabs nigga. in a bucket it's always gonna bro, be like you know that I mean? hating, with some people. hating bones in their body and it's like <laughs> yeah we can't vibe like that you know yeah. what I mean? if hold we up, expect hold up, hold up. to win we can't vibe like that we cannot we dog can't, we cannot man it's your boy so like K. that's that's your opinion on like the uh local mainstream the local locals. i want to know what you think of like mainstream the mainstream hip-hop right hip -hop. now hip-hop what do you think the state of hip hop is in right now? What's your thoughts on the state of hip hop? I think it's in a healthy state. Yeah. I think it was dying there for a bit. <coughs> and then I think a lot of the veterans were getting sick of it. Mm hmm. Because you see niggas like Nas, Jada Kiss. Like, yeah. You see the vets yeah. coming back, dropping albums and, yes, and doing their yeah. thing. Buster Rhymes yeah. just dropped, you know? Bro, I mean? his new album it is fire. Bro, bro. like. I couldn't stop breaking my neck, dog. Like, bro, like if you I'm, wanna talk hip hop, no, like, I'm yeah. not even gonna lie, bro. That album was fire, fire, I, and it I was real rap shit. It. Yeah, yeah it was like, real I wasn't rap expecting shit. it to be like yeah. on that level, but it was like that's some, it's some fire. So when you see uh, like yeah. old cats like that yeah. still rapping, yeah. still not missing a step, still not that, missing, you know a what step, I mean? Like, uh, it's like okay, hip hop is healthy right hold now. Up, hold up, sure, hold you up. got your. You still got your wave sound, all yeah. that shit. That, and that's yeah. what I like, bro. There's so much flavors right now. Yeah. It's like you, you walk into an ice cream parlor and it's like you just got flavors yeah. for days. You yeah. know what I mean? like, <laughs> <laughs> or a dispensary. I should say a dispensary now because it's like you just got flavors for days. You know what I mean? Like hip hop is so yeah, beautiful yeah, right now. It is. It's just like 
I love, love this yeah, shit. I love this shit too, bro. And and just to be blessed up like we are to be yeah. able to be in it, yeah. bro. It's like yo, to still be here grinding. Exactly. You know? It's bro. your boy Wack J. Exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah. like um <clears throat> I guess we kinda like already kinda touched on this a little bit, but do you kind of feel like Winnipeg gets the respect or recognition it deserves? Not at all. I mean, don't get me wrong. You still got some trash out here. Like, you oh, yeah, still got yeah, some, yeah. like... Keep it 10 times 10, baby. It's, it's everywhere, though. There's will be trash. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but it's yeah. like, Winnipeg does not get the, the recognition we deserve no. for just the hard work that we've been putting in. Yeah. You know, That's for years, for years, for years. And it's for like... years, bro. I think it'll happen soon, though. Like, I, I, I've i been feeling it, bro. Like, I have a feeling, Yeah, you know... A lot of people have been telling me Winnipeg's. They have our eye. They have their eyes on oh, us. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? It's just we yeah. got to move accordingly. Yeah. Say you what? know what I mean? And you know that's why big step is like you and and Feta and and the vets. Like, you know what I mean? They they're doing it right, but just these other cats got to follow suit. Yeah, you know for sure. I mean? Yeah. I think it'll be it'll be proper. Yeah. It'll be proper. Like, quality videos, yeah. like, quality everything yeah. needs to come out now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No more, mm-hmm. no more half-ass shit. Yeah. You know? And I feel like Winnipeg, like, right now, it's been a lot of good quality music, yeah. right? Yeah. A lot of good quality music. A lot of artists need to get on their visuals, like, yeah. myself included. Yeah. You know? But it's all about visuals. It's all man. about visuals, like yeah. we were just saying earlier. Yeah. We could have all the audio in the world, all the, all the MP3s we want, but yeah. it's like... People are on YouTube, bro. People are on facts, YouTube. People facts. are on Facebook, yeah. IG, Snap, yeah. TikTok, all yeah. that all the time. Yeah. And it's all visual. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you got to have visuals, man. Yeah. yeah. So you young niggas out there, exactly. man, who are listening. Like, Fab's killing it with the visuals right now. Yeah. Like, he's dropping a fucking joint like it's every, like a video yeah eh? every week or yeah. something like that he's got max a team wins is yeah. killing max it right is killing now it you know too. what i mean yeah, like yeah. salute yeah. the dogs salute bro. them salute the dogs them yo so getting on like more serious shit not really necessarily hip-hop like how has fatherhood been for you bro bro it's a wild ride it's a wild ride it is it's a it's such a it's nothing like it though like nothing like it bro I, when i was young i was always wondering like what kind of father i'd be mm-hmm. like when would i would have a kid this and that yeah. so actually now that i'm i'm living it yeah it's like it's crazy bro. Yeah, i love it though. i love it and kids grow so fast right? so fast like bro. i'm pretty sure my daughter and your son are pretty like similar mine's like, 10 my, yeah my daughter's you, 10 too yeah exactly yeah. Shit is, they grow so fast bro yeah so, so fast quick, bro. And mine's been, you know, giving giving us a little bit of mm. at that age where it's like Yeah. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy go out to straighten boy. you out. And it's dog. like you can't even yeah. you can't even discipline them like how they Oh no, it's not, them. it's not like it's not like how we were like disciplined. I wanna do that anyway, yeah. but it's like sometimes you wanna do that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Just sit down, talk with him, try yeah. to help him understand. Like, yeah. yo, this is life. Like, yeah, yeah. it's not gonna be easy, bro. Yeah. Like, you're gonna go through shit. Like, that's gonna piss you off yeah. and, and get you in your emotions, but you can't yeah. snap back. Yeah, you can't. You, because you're gonna cause so much consequences. Yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. you're gonna just be pissed off at yourself. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I try to let him know yeah. that it's like. It's real out here. Yeah. You know? And you grew up without a father too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you're like breaking in the cycle. My my dad was like in and out mm-hmm. and then my stepdad, he died when I was when I was fourteen or something. Oh, like okay. That. So it was like yeah. there wasn't really a stable father yeah, figure no in my father. life yeah. to actually look up to and have yeah. me to sit me down and have those conversations. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like now that I'm doing it, it's like yeah. I it, it's it means a whole lot more to me. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And like are you you're, um, are you like good with your your kid's mother? And yeah, we good. You got a good we relationship. Good, we good. We, you know, we had our little squabbles at the beginning and oh, all yeah, that. Oh yeah, it'd be like that, man. It'd be like that, but I know how that is. You know, we, you know, we got through it and come together for the bigger picture, yeah, right? It's for his sake, you know. What I mean? So <clears throat> now I'm just, I'm just trying to, trying to be the best man I could be for him. Facts, facts, bro. I haven't be. been to jail in so long. Yeah. Say like, what? 
<laughs> it's crazy niggas gotta say that. You know what I mean? It's it's crazy yo, niggas gotta yo, say that yo. though because I haven't like, been in jail in so long. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. But the last time I was like, yo, bro, because I yeah. and and you're the same way. That's yeah. why I felt you so much. Yeah. when you went away, because yeah. you missed a lot of your yeah your the kids' life. Time, yeah, you know for I mean? sure, man. And that was that that broke me a lot. Yeah, too, that's you know what mean? fucks with you the most. Yeah, like I I could give a fuck about anything else, but yeah. to lose those years with your yeah, kids exactly. is the hardest shit you have to deal with man. that's fact to come back and having to build those relationships up mm-hmm. again like my son like my son was in his mom's stomach mm-hmm. when i got locked up right mm-hmm. so like when i came out he was five years old exactly. so <laughs> it's like shit's crazy so like how have your priorities changed like since like becoming a father compared to like how they used to be lots lots you know you you, you just think differently you know yeah like you don't want to make stupid moves that'll jeopardize his life yeah not only your own life yeah because you know like it all it all will come back to him yeah so just my priorities now is just uh, different you know yeah but even with this music shit it's like i just want to go harder for him yeah too, you for know sure I mean? and show him that his dreams <laughs> are possible you want to be a good example exactly, right you know, yeah let them know that yeah. anything is possible exactly. no matter what exactly man. yeah yeah man because like i i like i remember in the beginning like you kind of were going through some shit like you went through uh Tell them. like you said you went to jail for was it two years or yeah something like that two right? years yeah. yeah 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 so yeah. like i mean that's still a long time to yeah. like go away but i feel like after that is kind of your mind your mind state changed right exactly <clears throat> you, you know you, jail ain't no place for a nigga bro like no and for good nigga anyways yeah, for a good nigga you know what i mean like yeah. a nigga with dreams and yeah. and, yeah. and fucking responsibilities and shit you yeah. know what i mean so after just going through that and it changes you, you yeah know what I it mean? does it changes you. it really does some niggas it changes them for the better for yeah. or some niggas for, for the, the worse you know some I mean? niggas so get fucking institutionalized exactly and shit, you know? bro yeah. and too many of my friends i could call brothers have been into institutionalized yeah. you know what i mean yeah it's like it breaks my heart when i when they just want to yeah walk that revolving know, door you know what i, mean? I know it's and like, it's hard yeah bro it's hard to like it's hard to preach to them because some some don't want to hear it but some will take it with a grain of salt you know yeah yeah so like yeah it's hard yeah, man. man it's hard and but each one of them has potential and and it's all about helping them see yeah. that mm-hmm. and once they realize that then it's like yeah it could change lives yeah. You know? yeah and i find you like you lose a lot of relationships like oh, when you man. change your life oh, right man. like has Lots. it been like that with oh. you like fuck bro i had hundreds of homeboys it's like now it's like only have I could probably count my homeboys on my hands. You know? Straight up, bro. Like, like I said, right now it's it's pretty much me and, and bro here. You yeah, know what I mean that's actually like full force on yeah. this. You know, no cap. I mean? yeah. You do lose a lot of friends, a lot of homies who don't want to. They don't see the vision, bro. They're yeah. Like what music? Like they see it, but they don't see it. Yeah. Like, yeah, you dope. Your music could pop this and that, but yeah. they don't see themselves in the picture, and it's like. Well, there could be a job for you. There could be something you could do in this field. You know, yeah. what I mean, if you just put your mind, deep, to put it. your mind to it and dig deep. Don't yeah. just think you gotta be a street nigga, or, or you know what I mean. Yeah. And, you know, so yeah. yeah, don't gotta be the biggest gangster in the world, exactly. my nigga. You know what I mean? You can only exactly. do that for so long. So long, and that shit's dying. Like yeah. even the the rappers we came up to and the OGs we came up to, they'll even say like, that shit's for the birds, my yeah, nigga. Like, we only did that to get out, my nigga, straight. you know what I mean? So, straight. yeah, man. Eventually. Okay, so, um, kind of staying like on the topic of like changing your life and shit. If you could travel back in time and give advice to your younger self, what would be some advice you'd give to him? Listen to the... <laughs> to what's being said around you you know what i mean you got people trying to give you advice and and all that but yeah you know we just want to we want to be hard-headed we want to live our lives we want to learn learn the hard way learn always you know what i mean always so that's what i would i would say man like listen to the advice listen to the wisdom yeah you know yeah that's facts, man. Like, um, like if I think about like me, my younger self, if mm-hmm. someone were to like come and try, tell me something at mm-hmm. my younger age, I would just, I wouldn't even listen, bro. Right. 
I would want to learn the hard way, and I don't know why we're so programmed like that, bro. I don't know why either, bro. It's, it's like the rebellion is just built into us, and it's yeah. like, you know, since kids, because you tell kids. a kid not to do something, yeah. the kid's gonna this go kid's turn gonna, around gonna do it. and go do it. Do so it's exactly. like, and I, I guess that's what life's all about, though. Like, you have to feel pain. Like, yeah, it's hold almost up, up, inevitable not to feel pain yeah. in life, because. Like 50 says that joy wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain, pain right? So, what does he say after that again? Something wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> but yeah, it's like, man, shut up, 50. Man. That came up off all that. Yo, 50's hard, hard yeah, bro. 50's hard, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. So, um, like, I got another question for you, bro. How how important do you feel like self care is? Self care now is so important to mm-hmm. me. Like now, I, yeah. I never used to care about it because it's like ever right. We we're moving so fast. Like, yeah. what? You know, things are on our conscious, yeah. our consciences or whatever. You yeah. know what I mean? It was like we just wanted to forget. Yeah. We was turning up. We was, yeah. just, you know, we was going wild. Yeah. But self care for me is so important now. Yeah. Like, I try to take days, not even days off. I just try to take moments off where I can mm. just reflect and meditate. Reflect. And, yes, meditation. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just tr- and and stay positive. Not try to stay positive because yeah. I I need to stay positive yeah. now. Before it was trying, but now yeah. it's like breathing. Like yeah. you don't try to breathe; you just breathe, right? Facts. So it's like once you get that mentality, and that was like a big thing that I had to go through too was just once you get that mentality of just always being positive yeah you see blessings bro mm. you see big blessings big, big, big beams yeah. you know what i mean because it's like yeah. even in the negative even the bad situations you have to see a positive yeah. in it and when sure. you do that's what keeps you going yeah. right so, yeah. yeah and with every bad situation i feel there's always a lesson in it exactly. right that you can learn from exactly so yeah, yeah man Self-care is very, Self-care very, is very important, important. Man. If you're listening, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Take some time to to just really heal up. You know what yeah. I mean? If you're... Too many people jump from relationship mm. to relationship. That's a big one. Broken and all That's this. That's a big one. I mean, and it's That's like, just heal one. up, man. Take some time to yeah. heal up. So, yeah. Yeah. And like you said, meditation. I feel meditation is so big, man. So I didn't big, start bro. getting into that until I was fucking... Like last year, yeah, you know what bro. I mean? so, I've seen the I've seen the journey too. Bro, <coughs> yeah, you know what I mean, so so it's big, big ups changes. on that, bro. Big big, ups big, on big that. changes, man. You know, big beams, bro. In the music. Yes, so um, you, baby. I want to ta- I want to kind of get into the the local hip hop, man. I want to know who your f- top five favorite local artists are right now. Right now. <clears throat> Definitely YK the mayor, bro. You don't gotta say me. I'm bro. not even. <laughs> no, bro. You ain't gotta gas me, brother. It's bro. <laughs> Just, <laughs> the legends out here. You know yeah, what I mean? word, bro. Appreciate um, that. Cairo, I would say Cairo. Cairo. He's, he's just on that. Yeah, that conscious level. You yeah, know? we need. Sometimes we need that. You need you know? that, yo. You and, need that. You need that. Um, ten times ten. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I got Max. Max is doing Max this thing, wins. Man. Yes, Max is fire, man. That's my dog. That's my young nigga. Yeah, yo. man. That's three. Um, you know, Stumbles has been grinding. Stumbles. I feel like Stumbles is very slept on. Very slept on. Like, and very I feel like so. the more he puts out, the more visuals he puts yeah. out. You know, what I yeah. think it will pick yeah. up for him. So. Yeah, bro. Um, Stumbles could spit, man. I got a joint. I got a joint I did with him and fucking Pat Silva. Like, I think it was a year and a half ago or something. Yeah. Shit is fire, bro. That guy that guy can spit. I ain't on front. Word. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Stumble. Um, Shout out Stumbles. Shout out Stumbles. Um, Cat Jones, fifth? bro. I put up in, in the. Oh, place. the new young guy, then. Yeah. Guy. yeah Kat Jones. I see that guy getting love, bro. Yeah, bro. He's, he's all over the ground right he's, now. He's doing his thing. He's doing some positive yeah, shit that's in the community. Why yeah. I fucks with him. Like, yeah. he's, he's on that positive way, yeah. like giving back. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, so, that's dope. 10 times 10. And it's like unexpected, but yeah, I throw him in there. Yeah, word. Yeah, so, sure. YK. Who do we have? Cairo. Cairo. Wins, wins stumbles stumbles and cat jones Kat jones yeah, Kat jones, yeah Kat jones. That, that's a solid top five bro 
Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. That's facts. Um, so sticking on local, I want to know what your top five favorite local songs of all time would be. Oh shit! <laughs> Say what? Damn, bro. Yeah. It's hard put. It's, it's hard, hard when you're put on the spot. You yeah, know what I mean? Hard. And it's hard to think because there's so many. Right? Hold up, so hold up, many hold up. Songs. Yeah. Keep it ten oh, times man. ten, baby. What's that joint? Res my res official, bro. Uh, the heli joint. Yeah. Um, is it that we gonna keep on moving? Yeah. It, oh, man. All my native people stand up. Yeah. That one. Uh, is it called Keep It Moving? I think it's called Keep I It Moving. It's called Keep It Moving. Yeah. Heli. Like yeah. Helly's a legend. Yeah, Helly is a legend, man. Shout out Helly. Shout out to fucking Helly. He just Hallie. actually hit me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, man. yeah. Keep it moving. That's what it's called. I'm pretty damn one sure. One of them Rezo joints. Yeah. Though. Like I'd have to say, I throw like Rez official. One of their joints. Yeah. Out there for, for sure. sure. For sure. Definitely Rider, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. That's a big Rider one. Is yeah. Like one of the biggest songs out yeah. of Winnipeg. Yeah. To Word this up. date, you know what I mean? Word, bro. Um, when the game line, pay attention. Man. Probably a joint by Bubbles, bro. Like, Bubbles. What's that one he had on streets with the singer on it? Yeah, 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 man. I, I know exactly. You know what you're talking about? Yeah, I know which one you're Just talking about. How did it go? That was a hit. That was a hit, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like Bubbles had yeah. hits. Bubble had some fire. And he was probably like, that's facts. Most lyrical, lyrical. Ones in lyrical heat, bro. People bro. say I'm lyrical, but like, bubbles if bubbles spit. actually snap, dog, you'd yeah. be like, Yeah, bubbles could spit. What you know what yeah. I mean? Like, bubbles could spit, and it's like, Yo, so yeah. definitely one of his joints. Um, one of the biggest joints, what you in it for, too, you know, what yeah, I mean? the like, most, yeah, when it the most. most joint, yeah. Yeah, man, and hopefully one of my joints like that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I like yeah, that. There we go, so, man. Yeah. Shit, man. You know, I, I I really fuck with that Thunderclouds joint, bro. Man. Yeah. A lot of people. I think like I should have pushed that one a lot, more. bro. You still can. I, I still think you can, should shoot a video it, for like, that. The mix on it is. Not, Do you got the vocals and stuff? I for still got the vocals all. Bro, the that's a heavy yeah. track, man. Yeah, that's I a heavy joint. I want to actually do a video because the video yeah. I had for that was so crazy. Like really? it was actually on some cinematic, <laughs> really movie yeah. type shit. You know what I mean? But it yeah. just never it got executed. And it was oh like, no! Yeah. yeah, that's a heavy joint, Thanks, man. Bro. Thanks. Straight up. So that's that's Illa's top five favorite local songs. I want to know who your top five favorite artists are of all time. Of all time. Of all time, bro. See, I knew this one was coming too. You I know still it's wasn't coming. prepared, bro. It's hard, bro. It's hard. It's hard on the spot. Keep it ten times ten, oh, baby. Man. Who? Who's my nigga Illa? Jada Bunker. Kiss for sure. Jada Kiss number one, like one of, of all time. time and I know your top five is gonna be spitters, yo. Spitters. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Man, kiss. Kiss. Wayne. Wayne. Weezy F, baby. Please say the baby. Um, Big L. Big L. Wow. Big L. Word, yeah. eh? Like, Big L's always been like. Crazy. Yeah. Um, man. What else you got, bro? Nip, for sure. Nip, nip, for sure. Even though, like, he wasn't the most lyrical. No, Nip is just, just. Nip was just. He's a, he embodies yeah. work. You know? Yeah. I mean, he embodies hustle. Yeah. So. He is one of one, man. For yeah, sure. one of one for sure. <clears throat> and then Gunna, bro. Like, wanna. Gunna, what? Gunna, wanna, yeah. Word, eh? People be like, yo, why you like Gunna so much, bro? <laughs> you you fuck know with what Gunna, I mean? eh? It's like, but people don't understand, bro. Like, music hits me. Like, when I be going through it, and I'd be on my grind and this and that. Like, I actually listened to the words. Listen yeah. to the, I could sit there with the headphones on and actually yeah. hear it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and some well, of this shit this nigga been... Like, his old shit, too, yeah. got me through a lot of fucking crazy, crazy oh, word, times, eh? bro. Yeah. So it's like... Music is therapy. It, it is therapy, you know what I mean? So Straight up. It, it may therapy. be like a lot of people don't understand Gunna, but when I understand him, it's like, yo... This nigga's actually saying something. Yeah, you know what straight I mean? so, up. I haven't yeah. taken in too much of Gunner stuff. Maybe uh, I need to check it out, though. Word it's, up. Bro, like, all I'm saying is smoke a lot of weed and just... Yeah, vibe out. Vibe out, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, 
Hold up, hold up, hold up. Speaking, staying on music. So if you could hit the studio with two artists right now Mm -hmm. and make a hit, who would those two artists be that are in the game right now? Dang. This is crazy because you don't want to sleep on on getting features. I actually had a chance to get a Dave East feature Mm. before East blew up. Damn. This was like when I was doing the Ill Found thing. Yeah. I remember in contact with Dave's people. Yeah. And he was charging like like three racks of verse or something yeah. like that. Wow. And then it just never happened. Shit, man. That you know would have been I mean? a good that would have been a and good investment. Yeah, like right to have an East verse before he blew yeah. up and all that. Yeah. That would've that would have been dope. Sure. But if I could get a verse right now on the spot from any any rapper right two now. Artists, two, two artists. Two artists that you could get in the studio right okay, with. Okay, two cook artists, up with. so it doesn't yeah. even have to be a rapper. It doesn't have to be a rapper. Two artists you could get in the studio with, cook up a hit with right now. Who would it be? Chris Breezy. Chris Breezy. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me right now, bro? Chris Breezy Yo, for sure. For sure. Like, you're on at that point. You're on, you're dog. On. Like, you're on. Get dog. a record with Breezy. Yeah. <laughs> and probably the weekend, bro. Ooh, so you go with two two singers, two singers on the joint, yeah. eh? Ooh, yeah. damn man, it, it's crazy. It's crazy that like two of the biggest artists in the world are Canadian, like Drake in the weekend, right? right? And that gives wow. us so much hope because it's yeah. like there's a lot of talent. Man. They're looking at Canada, bro. They're looking, straight up, they're looking. And I was looking at an old video. Did you see that video where uh, the weekend's like chilling with Joey? And, yeah, and yeah, he's like I've singing. And little yeah. did they know what that yeah. nigga was finna be. Right. Eh? Yeah. It's crazy, hold bro. Up, hold up, crazy. hold up. It is wild. So this is kind of a question I kind of ask all my guests to kind of, kind of end off the the pod or whatever. But if you could explain your values in three words what would they be like i'll give you an example or your three values that that kind of explain your life and where you're at right now so for me it would be <clears throat> family healing and creativity those mm-hmm. would be my three words that's yeah facts. my only love loyalty ambition Ooh, wow, you didn't even have to think about yeah, that no, eh because that's what i'm about bro. love Loyalty and ambition. Yeah, God like that. damn, that's yeah. real, bro. Yeah. And I, li- I like, I like asking people that because I like to see where people are at, man, mm-hmm. and what people's values are and shit. Eh? Yeah. I'm all about you, you get what you give. You know yeah. What I mean? So I always mm-hmm. try to just to give that love where it's yeah. needed and yeah. that ambition, you know, yeah. what I mean? where it's needed. And yeah. Stay loyal to to the ones who are loyal to you. Yeah. I mean? Straight up. Straight up. So are you kind of like dating anybody right now? You're just kind of working Single, on your shit? Bro, single, bro. Um, life single but i'm not available if that makes sense and i don't really want nothing oh right i was now, gonna say explain that like, nigga i don't know what the fuck yeah, 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 <laughs> like, I, I don't really want a relationship per se unless okay. it's like shorty's 100 percent down for me because yeah. there's been a lot of times they say they was down got you but as soon you. as i gotta run out the door and go handle oh. something Especially with uh, this music shit, bro. Yeah. Cause it's like they be thinking I got hoes all the time mm, and this and, and that. It's, it's all, like, yeah. bro, I'm not like it's not even like that. Yeah. Like it could be like that it if, could it, be. but I don't. If the want nigga it really like wanted, yeah, right? exactly, yeah. right? So it's like that's facts. It, she just needs to be cool with my yeah. career and facts. my dreams right now. See, I then it, it it just won't click. So yeah. if you're out there and you're hearing that, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Tell, him, <laughs> tell him, my nigga. <laughs> so, like, when you were like growing up as a kid, who was like your celebrity crush, man? Damn, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Aaliyah for sure. Ooh, yeah. Um, Sanai Lathan. I don't know if a lot of people know who that is, but Sanai. You Lathan. know, I know who that is. Bro. She was Ooh. like loving basketball. Oh, what bro. other joints joints is she in? Bro? She in a few, but. That, that was like their yeah. the big one. Yeah, that she's yeah, bad. Like, yo, mm-hmm. she is she's bad. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, man, I appreciate you coming through hey, fucking bro, with my fucking with me, my nigga. I you know what I'm saying? You with me Much the love, way, bro. You know, yeah. it's it's all love over here, yeah. bro. And we're just always. gonna keep turning up on these always, movies, man. always just keep bro. it beaming over here. Mm-hmm. That's you, all we can do, yeah. bro. You got any shout outs to anybody you want to get any shout outs to? Big shout outs to you know. The bro, Steve, uh-huh. big shout out to uh, Mama Dukes. Mama Dukes, brothers, always got you it. You know, shout out my son. Shout out, you 
know, shout out YK for Appreciate having that. Okay, Appreciate shout you. out, shout out Nappy. Yeah. You know, we got something coming. So. Oh, dope, dope. Shout out, uh, you know, shout out my bro Silver. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. You got any new joint? Anything coming out musically, man? Promote Keep that shit, bro. 10, musically, baby. we got She a Soldier on the way. She a Soldier. I yeah, seen yeah, that. I yeah, seen that. that. One's dropping right away. We got one coming. Matter of fact, me and you got one November yeah, 10th. November way up. 10th. Y'all better watch, check for that. I'm yeah. telling you, that shit goes, bro. Be shooting a video. People still want a video for Coffins, too, bro. Oh, yeah. I see that. You know I see I people mean? be people, still feeling yeah. People still be feeling that. So I think we're going to have to. I'm, I'm plotting on Knock a, that out. maybe one for that, too, soon. So Yeah, man. Um, for sure. I got a video dropping right away. Mm-hmm. It's off the Mission 3.0. Okay, dope. Know me now. Know me now. The stumbles and die cute. Okay. Um, dope, bro. Yeah, and just you working. Like, I love yeah, how you working now, bro. bro. Straight, I love it. I just it. had to put it all into. I love, it, bro, like, I love how you're working hold now, up, bro. Hold up, hold up. Just you stay, so stay pushing, right? stay and that's, grinding. That's a, the thing. A lot of people give. said the only thing wrong with Ill is he's not consistent. Mm. Like, what? You know what I mean? So I was like, yeah. I took that. I, t- I heard it a lot too. Yeah. So once mm. you start hearing it a lot, it's like, yeah. okay. That, yeah, man. Yeah, you just gotta keep pushing, keep pushing shit out, and something's gonna get, bro. Exactly. You know. So. Hey, um, man. God bless you. Bro. God bless everybody out there. We appreciate straight you, up, man. Up, this is the bro. 10 times 10 podcast. I am your host, YK the Mayor. This is my mayor. dog right here, Illa Music. Yes, and you heard it here first, man. Holla. Holla. We out this bitch. Peace. <laughs>